ERSA, or ERSA, is an add-on to the extendable research system by Equinox. It allows mothers to define blocks and refining as well as production options to only be available to the player after they research a certain technology. These definitions can then be uploaded to the workshop as tech trees and thus made available to everyone. I'm now going to take you on a quick tour through this mod's functionality. First off, you will have to produce research material at your assembler. These components exist in four tiers made up out of increasingly more rare and valuable resources. There is the basic research material, enhanced research material, advanced research material, and finally the elite research material. Research material is consumed during the research of technologies. More advanced technologies will require more research material and a higher tier of said research material. The research lab functions much like an assembler, except that it can only create research blueprints. Research blueprints are the items on which technologies are saved. Simply insert the required tier and amount of research material into the research lab's inventory and switch to the production tab of the research lab to select a technology to be researched. Note how the technologies are distributed over several categories such as armor, automation, combat, etc. Which technologies are available and what prerequisites they have is completely dependent on the tech tree you have added to your save game. Some technologies may have other technologies in their prerequisites. In those cases, the prerequisite technologies research blueprint will be consumed in the research of the new technology. Starter technologies will research fairly quickly, while more advanced technologies may take quite a while to research. This technology's research speed has been accelerated for demonstration purposes. As you can see, by default only a few blocks are unlocked with this tech tree, and the small wheels we have just researched are not part of them. By picking up the research blueprint from the inventory of the research lab, however, small wheels are unlocked. The wheels now appear in the G menu and are able to be placed. While certain technologies may require the research blueprints of prerequisite technologies in order to be researched, the same is not true for the research blueprints themselves. It is not required to have first unlocked a prerequisite technology in order to be able to unlock an advanced technology. For example, small wheels is a starter technology that unlocks the one by one wheels. In order to be researched, it only requires the basic research material. The heavy duty wheel technology, unlocking the 5x5 wheels, is a more advanced technology that requires the research blueprints for small wheels and upscaled wheels, which contains the 3x3 wheels, in order to be researched. This is the normal progression through the tech tree. Should I obtain the blueprint for heavy duty wheels in some other way, however, such as finding it on an NPC ship or stealing it from another player, I can unlock the 5x5 wheels straight away, even though I haven't unlocked the 3x3 wheels beforehand. This also means that it's easy for players to share research blueprints with each other, should they choose to do so. Lastly, the data storage block serves as a central and stylish place to store your research blueprints so that you don't lose track of them. This concludes this quick overview of the functionality of Ursa. If you are interested in creating your own tech tree, adding various modded blocks for example, please check out this project's GitHub page. It contains extensive documentation about the process of creating a tech tree as well as the tools needed to do so.